In the insurance industry today, consumers really don't have great choices in terms of how they shop for insurance. You have to enter your information on a lot of sites. It's hard to compare the different offerings. Uh, they can go to aggregator sites that only show a fraction of what's out in the market. We offer all of the top insurance companies so a consumer can see all of their options, and they only need to give us their information once. We try to make it as easy as possible for a consumer to find what they're looking for. Innovation is absolutely core to our company. The digital insurance space has been absolutely stagnant. The Zebra created an entirely new market category. We created the insurance comparison shopping experience with rates, which is innovation in itself. Part of innovation is really understanding what the consumer's unmet needs are. We've got multiple teams supporting us in understanding that to really push the boundaries on our digital experience to make sure we deliver value for our consumers every day. We have incredible partners. And what we do for our consumers is we help them understand what is the value that each one delivers and which one is the best fit for them so that they don't have to spend hours creating spreadsheets or on the phone, but really can come to us for that best solution. We're really focused on building an end-to-end -end online insurance experience where they can both purchase and manage their insurance. Historically, a lot of the insurance comparison space has been a lot about lead gen, about high volume, low value. We're not a traditional disruptor in the space. We, we recognize that actually, you know, the carriers bring a lot of value. Um, our job is really to match consumers with the right carriers and, and pair them together. And so what we're trying to disrupt is the low value aggregation that was there in the lead gen space and instead focus more on, on providing that advice. Data protection is, you know, in every industry, critical. We have a lot of data, and our goals and our, our values and everything is aligned to how we use that data for good, how we use that data to help consumers and help m get them the coverage they need and solve their problems. Insurance carriers didn't actually even have technology to allow companies to connect to get rates. Now there's so much data in the space. Um, and that's really, I think, where our value is and what, what we can do is in figuring out how to use that, that data to, to personalize the experience for consumers to make sure they're getting what they need. They're getting the education, they're getting it at the time they need it, the messaging and the, the help and the coverage they need. We don't take preference to only work with direct carriers, only work with carriers that appoint independent agents, or only work with captives. And a way that we've been able to enable that is through our agency, who are there on the other end of the phone to, pick, to speak to a customer about their insurance needs. And I think that is very much appreciated by the carrier partners, but of course it's a huge value add for us on the customer side for them to know that, yes, of course the Zebra has built a best-in-class digital experience to understand and buy and simplify the shopping experience, but we also have agents to really uh, explain the complexities, which we recognize insurance is not an easy um, product to understand. And Austin from tech was one of two things. It was either hardware, Dell, IBM, you know, AMD, or it was enterprise software. There haven't been a ton of really big consumer brands here. Uh, and I think that that's something that, that Austin was missing. And it's something that we've helped grow here love the working culture at the Zebra. It's part of the reason why I've been here for over five years. And for me, it's all about building a place where people can show up as their best selves. We rolled out a parental leave program that doesn't differentiate between maternity and paternity. It's all about primary and secondary caregiver, um, which in our society today can look very different than what it has historically been or traditionally been. Um, and it's really enabled a lot of people to have and grow families while still, still growing their career at the Zebra. Really investing into the person um, and not just the employee. There's been plenty of studies that have shown that, you know, diverse leadership teams, diverse companies outperform consistently companies that haven't. And to me, that really comes down to having different points of view, different backgrounds, um, and different experiences lend itself to a product. And one of the things that attracted me to the Zebra was the ability to come on board, build a team, and help build a culture uh, of collaboration, of mutual respect. But I want to work at a place, and I think we're lucky in tech to be able to work at a place where 
I can challenge the people that work with me and they can challenge me. Part of the strength of the Zebra has always been our culture and the way we all work together. And I think the beginning of the pandemic, the Zebra was really successful and we did well. Uh, but obviously the, the key now is how do we continue to propagate that culture when we aren't in the office as much, people are spread. Um, we've more than doubled in terms of size. So there's a lot of people that have never met in person or been into the office. I don't care where employees are to do their work as long as they, they can get their job done as efficiently as possible. Um, and still bring that sense of community that they're a part of something. And that's really what we're striving to do going forward. The Zebra exists because shopping for insurance is really hard, but the other part of that is it's needed. It's really important for a consumer. Part of it is a lot of times it's required by law, like if you drive a car, uh, but it's just also very important for a consumer to protect their assets. That's what insurance is. So consumers don't like to do it, but it's a necessary thing and they really need to and should do it. Um, and if they do it poorly, they can either not have their assets protected or they can way overpay for what they're getting. We really need to be a trusted advisor. We need to take all that complicated shopping off their plate and just really come back to them with recommendations that make the most sense based on their unique needs. The expectation as the trusted advisor is not that we teach them about insurance, it's just that they have enough information that they need and are comfortable with to make a decision. And so it's really about balancing kind of content and information overload with giving it to them at their fingertips and allowing them to make the decision of when do they want to dig in.